All right. Now earlier we foiled this, these two binomials. We multiplied them together. We got our answer. And what we're going to do now is called the box method. So some of you, if you like the box method better, you're welcome to use it. When we have the box method, what we're going to do is we're going to take our first term and write it in the top of the box. And then our second term, we're going to write it in the bottom. Let me go ahead and draw a line, breaking this up. Okay, then we're going to go to our next binomial. And we're going to put our first term in the front and our last term in the back. Now what we're going to do is we are going to multiply our terms. And this is reminds me whenever I do this, I think of a Punnett square in biology. So I have 3n times 3n, which is going to give me 3n squared. Then I have this 3n times this 3. So notice I'm taking it out and running it up and saying this multiplied to that. And that's going to give me a positive 9n. Down here at the bottom, I have 2 times this n up here. So 2 times n, and that's going to give me a positive 2n. And then I have this 2 over and up times this 3. And that's going to give me a positive 6. So notice I have four terms. Now, I notice I didn't draw an arrow to it like I did on the foil. But I still have the same terms that we ended up with. And here we ended up with 3n squared plus 9n plus 2n plus 6. And here we also end up with 3n squared plus 9n plus 2n plus 6. So in the end, with the box method, we're just going to go ahead and add our like terms. And my like terms are here and here. And that's going to give me 11n. And we put that in the middle. I'll bring down my 3n squared. And then I'll bring, in, bring down my positive 6. So, still got the same answer, but it is a different method. If you like doing the box method better, then do the box method. If you like doing the foil method better, then do the foil method. Just choose the one that works for you.